there guys, my name is Coach Shadongs the Bottom Bob Belt for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we have something absolutely massive from King's Dominion. This is a massive, massive news story because we have officially seen that track for their brand new project for 2021 is on site. We've got we've actually got a picture of track on site for their rumoured SNS 4D free spin coaster for 2021 replacing the crypt. Uh, track is on park site right now. So before we get into all of that, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chal YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that I will release Coaster Channel merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So as you can see on your screen, track is officially on site at King's Dominion. Now there is another picture uh, from King's Dominion Fanatics, which you can check out all over social media. Uh, but this is a different picture from somewhere else. Uh, and credit goes to whoever this took this picture. Uh, but it was, I found it on the thumbnail of a YouTube video that someone did with the track on site. Uh, but I decided to have, just crop the, the track into the picture. Uh, but for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what's happening, basically it all started with a rumour and then planning filings and now we've got the track to prove it. So, the crypt, which opened in 2005 in the Safari Village area of the park, was a Hus suspended top spin. Now it reached, it has a height restriction to get onto the ride of t between 137 and 203 meters and it has many different elements and of course there are differences between this and the King's Island version. Now the King's Island version was a giant top spin and the only one to ever exist and this version is an open area while King's Island was indoors. The props from the Tomb Raider film were removed in King's Island while this version retained the replicated Monkey Warrior statues and Griffin statues. And the music, water fountains, fire and smoke were also retained at King's Dominion. Now of course this has a previous name of Tomb Raider Freefall when the part was under the Paramount ownership. But of course when the part became uh, King's Dominion and came under Cedar Fair ownership it was changed to the Crypt. It was removed in 2019 along with Volcano the Blast Coaster and we had an inkling that the next major coaster would take over both sites or just Volcano. It definitely seems like Volcano the Blast Coaster is the next coaster site in a couple of years time but for now at least this is a nice filler addition for their next big coaster coming in a couple of years time. So that my friends was just a little update there of what's been happening. Uh, not much really happening actually on the crypt site. We know it's you know been fenced off, and we know we know that things will start happening if they haven't already. Uh, that should be happening by now. Uh, but I don't think we've seen much actually in the crypt site as of yet. But what we do know is now that track is on site, and we it's very very clear that this is going to happen. Uh, so I mentioned this in the Seed of Fair final predictions video for 2021. Make sure you go and check that video out along with the other videos we uploaded yesterday uh, and over the last few days. Uh, but I did say that it will be a battle of the free spins next year. It will be a battle between King's Dominions and Dragon Slayer over Adventureland in Iowa which is the brand new free spin replacing their old Hopkins Looper coaster called Dragon. So this is definitely going to be a very interesting addition for the part. I definitely think, and I know a lot of enthusiasts are thinking, this is definitely a filler year. This is just a coaster to fill the gap uh, while they wait in a couple of years time for a bigger, better coaster uh, to replace Volcano the Blast Coaster. And I know that 
uh, this coaster is very much to keep the guests entertained for the new coaster lineup while, um, you know, King's Dominion start planning their next coaster to replace Volcano. I know they're going to take their time replacing Volcano over the next couple of years, next two to three years maximum, uh, I'm in my opinion. And I think that for this to be a filler year for Volcano's replacement in a couple of years' time, I think this is definitely a general public coaster. Now, of course, we've said it in the enthusiast community loads of times. We've said it, it would either be an enthusiast edition or it would be a GP edition. And GP is what enthusiasts like to call the general public. And, you know, this channel is all about react, uh, you know, reaching out to both the general public and the enthusiast community. So, for the general public, for you guys that are not massive fans of coasters, but you found this channel and you find the information interesting, then if you're new here, then welcome. Secondly, uh, this is pretty much your ride. If you want to go on something that's scary, if you want to go on something that's unique and different for the state, then you go ahead and do so, because this is your ride. For the enthusiasts, many people have mixed opinions on the free spin coasters. Um, but I think that people will still be happy they're going to get this compact thrill coaster in this park. And especially since it's going to be a flat ride that's getting replaced. And you know what's really ironic? And I just thought about this while I was taking a break between uh, reading uh, the information about the crypt and sharing my thoughts. Now, I sort of thought about it over that little pause uh, that I've cut out in the editing. Uh, hopefully. And, um, yeah, I thought about this. People complained for years between Intimidator 305, well, Intimidator uh, 305 and uh, the next coaster in line, which was Twisted Timbers, which is, of course, their RMC of Hurler, which was a big gap between coasters back then. And people were like, oh, we need to see a new coaster now, now, now. How do you feel, Kings Dominion fans? You're going to get one next year, and you're going to get one in a couple of years to replace Volcano. So you're getting bumper coasters year upon year. So, you know, there was even early rumour talk of back-to-back -back coasters. Obviously, we know that's probably not going to happen now. But, I tell you what, it could, it, it's not, you know, it's not out of the question. It's not completely not a possibility. Um, the Volcano replacement could open in 2022, but... It seems like they're taking their time. They're going to open it maybe 2023, 2024, which I fully understand, and I'm sure you guys will understand as well. Uh, but the fact that, you know, Kings Dominion fans have complained for years they wanted a brand new roller coaster, they needed a new coaster, a new big coaster, they get Twisted Timbers, and now they're getting a compact roller coaster and a free spin, and they're getting this. Uh, volcano replacement I'm sure in about two three years time so this is pretty much going to be King's Dominion's decade for new coasters and you never know maybe they'll invest in another coaster further down the decade going into the 2029 sort of uh, range so it's definitely going to be interesting to watch uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what kind of theme they're going to go with obviously where Volcano is uh, and where the crypt is is, is, is is near it's very very near uh, the crypt in the safari village section so and obviously with the volcano site obviously that's had the teaser posters of the great expedition and the great journey uh, with the safari animals so again we're looking at a safari theme for the volcano replacement with this one however with the track being green I've not really spoken much about the track uh, picture yet to be honest but I will talk about it now the track color is green like a light green from what we see and um, from what we from what from what we can tell from that we have an inkling that it could be maybe serpent themed so the green could represent like a snake so something like a serpent obviously they've already got anaconda in the part which is their arrow custom looping coaster so they can't use the anaconda name but they could go with something like a serpent or a viper or they could go with a uh, a king boa or a king cobra you know, so, so King Cobra, to be fair, wouldn't be a bad name. <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad name, to be fair. Uh, they've used it in the past for theme parks, so it's not a bad name. And water parks, don't forget, as well. And uh, <laughs> um, so there's a million different things they could choose, but it's not just, you know, snakes. They could go with lizards. They could go with any other green jungle animal that's either small or just very, very thin or just hides very well or camouflages very well. Um... So it's going to be interesting. Reptile, that'd be nice. Um, like the Mortal Kombat villain. <laughs> um, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting to keep eyes peeled on the teasing process, the marketing process, how they announce the ride, when they're going to announce the ride. Uh, there's a lot of announcements that are still yet to be made, like the official 
Uh, obviously, Adventureland have confirmed Dragon Slayer, but they haven't actually announced the the logo, what it will look like in like an animation style that you know Ocean Ocean uh, Castaway Coast Playland or Playland's Castaway Coast, sorry, uh, did that with Gale Force a few years ago. Uh, and they did this full animation with the logo reveal and everything. So maybe Adventureland is still going to do that with Dragon Slayer, even though they've confirmed it now. Um, obviously, Kings Dominion, we know they're still going to announce that. Dollywood's announcement for the future, the next few years, they're still going to announce what they're doing with that and when the announcement date will be for that. So that's going to be a video uh, worth waiting for as well when the announcement comes out from Dollywood on their new project. Uh, so there's still a lot of things to announce for 2021 officially. Um, Dorney Park's new coaster in the Cedar Fair chain, that's something. Um, obviously California's Great America, now there's been a massive debate in the Cedar Fair Final Predictions video about, um, you know, the fact that California's Great America with South Bay Shores apparently is about 80% done. Uh, so they could do something with like a kids area in 2021, or they could do something uh, different in 2021. Uh, something small, but something still new for the part for the dry park. So there's a debate going on about that in the comments down below that video. I'm sure someone will pop up with that in this video as well in the comments. If you've got any opinions, comment down below. And um, yeah, so all in all, guys, very exciting. I can't wait. I hope you guys are really excited as well. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park newsroom update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell. Keep on the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.